Can I come in, sir? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, introduction option. If you are comfortable, you can remove your mask if only you wish. Apno introduction option. Uh, sir, my band ID is uh, K21. K21. Uh, okay. I have completed my graduation in BSc Nursing in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, thereafter, I have worked as a nursing tutor in a private nursing school. Mm -hmm. Uh, thereafter, uh, since 2019, I am working as a mental health nurse in a government hospital. Okay. Have you heard about Florence Nightingale? Yes, sir. Hmm. What do you know about her? Sir, uh, she is the pioneer of uh, a nursing career. Hmm. And... Uh, Any significance? Any significance? Because there is an award uh, yes, sir. in respect to the a... Nightingale. We have Florence Nightingale Award in our country mm -hmm. and uh, it is given to the one uh, who have given uh, her tremendous effort uh, mm -hmm. to uh, serve the people mm -hmm. in the nursing services. Okay, but who is the Florence Nightingale? He is a nurse and he did great uh, effort for the medical background and all that. But any significance of this Florence Nightingale in history? Uh, she uh, worked for army army persons army persons and uh, uh, she belonged to uh, England and uh, I know this month I can remember this month sir what do you know about uh, section officers and deputy collector posts as far as the government of Gujarat and state government is concerned sir uh, there are different kind of administrative posts and uh, uh, they are uh, section officers in in this field also there are varieties of sections mm -hmm. it can be for finance it can be for health sec health sector mm -hmm. uh, it can be for road sections mm -hmm. but what exactly a section officer is doing uh, sir uh, they they basically do uh, the policy formulation and they draft uh, policy and they handle as you have mentioned policies can you differentiate the difference between the rules, notifications, act and some circulars? Uh, sir, uh, the act has a legal backing mm -hmm. and... Uh, Everything is a legal backing. Yes, sir. And the rules are formulated uh, taking into account the act itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, notification... Uh, I don't have any idea, sir, about notification. Okay, uh, if I say that artificial intelligence is a threat to the mankind or a human, you can say the uh, employments or whatever, whatsoever. So what do you think about artificial intelligence? Sir, uh, artificial intelligence uh, has its own pros and cons. And if we talk about pros, then it is definitely revolutionizing the current uh, in every aspect. It can be health sector, it can be industrial sector. As far as job loss is concerned, sir, uh, is definitely it has some implications. But uh, it also it is also providing some avenues uh, in terms of new employment opportunities. It can be IT sector, it can be robotics. Okay. How your nursing experience or nursing knowledge will help you in this government sector? Not just in a specific terms, but the values, human values it creates as a nursing. How you will uh, uh, that uh, make it possible in administrative? Sir, uh, during my nursing, nursing career, uh, we have been taught about, uh, first of all, being sensitive to the needs of the people, mm -hmm. then uh, uh, being uh, emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. Not uh, First of all, we try to maintain rapport, mm -hmm. but we, we are taught not to be too much involved into them. Mm -hmm. So in that way, uh, we have been taught to take care of our mental health and also to take care of the needs of the patients as well. So I can uh, imbibe uh, whatever, I, uh, whatever I have learned, uh, like uh, being emotional intelligent, being sensitive to the needs of the people. I can uh, uh, implement those qualities while working as an administrative officer. What do you uh, know about the endangered species of Gujarat, which falls under Schedule 2 animals? Schedule 2? Um, 
सर आई हैव टू लुक इन टू दैट आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल इट राइट नो एज अ वुमन वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस फॉर यू टू वर्क इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विसेस सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेंटेनिंग ड्यूअल ड्यूटीज लाइक वी कैन से द ड्यूअल बर्डन लाइक वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ होम एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ड्यूटीज एज वेल एंड अदर अनदर चैलेंज इज साइकोलॉजिकल चैलेंज इज वेन स्पेश वेन अ वीमेन बिकम्स प्रेगनेंट एंड देर आफ्टर वेन सी गिवस बर्थ टू द चाइल्ड ओके फाइन माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन do you read other books kind of uh, literature or some of that or other books any books apart from this your preparation in gps sir uh, i have been wo- already working and preparing doing simultaneously so i don't get time to read this books okay okay no issue okay so you working with her mental health right so just give me uh, two challenges which you uh, basically deal while uh, you are handling the mental patient Uh, the most uh, the foremost challenge is uh, not to being too uh, too much involved into them like if uh, they are describing their conditions sometimes if we are too much sensitive then it also hurts our mental health like we keep thinking about them while uh, being at home and uh, sometimes they are too much open i mean uh, to manage between among the patients is really difficult sometimes you mix up the cases what are the basically uh, issues of the mental health it is not being discussed as frequently as easily <coughs> by the patient right if a patient needs a mental uh, treatment uh, or a psychological treatment people still feel hesitate to consult a psychologist or to opt for those treatment what what do you think what is needed in the current society uh, regime to address this situation ma'am uh, we are i think we are already progressing on that but uh, it it is coming very slowly like uh, previously it has been uh, associated with faith like uh, there is some kind of buri atma so now nowadays we are improving and uh, we are gradually uh, making awareness about the challenges psychological mental health uh, challenges and uh, uh, gradually uh, we are improving ma'am uh just give me uh, the differentiation between depression anxiety and ocd okay ma'am depression depression uh, is like it has specific symptoms like a uh, loss of interest and uh, it has a suicidal tendency and uh, another ma'am uh anxiety anxiety uh, it is mostly stress induced and uh, it's like uh, we sweat a lot or uh, uh we we uh, there is a change in uh, the way we speak and there are other symptoms in anxiety and about ocd it's a obsessive compulsive disorder in that uh, we feel like uh, uh, we need to uh, for example we need to wash our hands compulsorily or it can be like uh, we have locked our home but still we feel like it is still unlocked mm, that's good good okay Do you watch web series or something? Yes, ma'am. Which one? Uh, the last web series I have watched was um, this uh, uh, Squid Game. Mm. Okay. Uh, web series or movies? Ma'am, web series. Why? Uh, I feel it is more interesting and. Uh, um, I don't know him. I I haven't think about it yet. Okay. You uh, told about the dual burden. Do you think that that working and balancing your uh, family becomes a burden for a female person to uh, if they opt for a work? Ma'am, it it depends on uh, women's abilities. some people uh, some female do it very smoothly and some female some females are not able to cope with it so uh, i i will say that uh, it all depends on uh, how uh, women thinks about it but do you feel it as a burden you mentioned it uh will it become a burden for you if you become a deputy collector you have a kid at your home so you will feel that your duty is a burden it will not be a burden but uh, if my partner takes an equal responsibility then it will be a mistake then 
think that he is not taking any responsibility of the home either. And you are a deputy collector in a district. Now judge your job responsibility. Um, it will definitely uh, feel, uh, uh, feel me, it will make me pressurized, but I wouldn't say that uh, it will be a burden. I will feel pressure definitely. Okay, that uh, one thing is there, one act is there which actually uh, helps women, uh, that is Maternity Benefit Act, right? So, uh, do you think that Maternity Benefit Act is properly implemented? Um, uh, in a government setup? Uh, I everywhere, would say, everywhere. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I is would... Is it serving the purpose? Is it serving the purpose? Uh, Ma'am, uh, in case of Maternity Benefit Act, uh, it is serving it, uh, its purpose in a government setup uh, very smoothly. But if I would consider the private uh, sector, uh, then they are very hesitant in doing so. Like uh, giving Any maternity Any suggestion leaves. to address that issue? Um, Ma'am, I will have to think about that. But we are trying our best to do it, but private sector itself is not, even while recruiting uh, recruiting women, they they are they already talk about this, like we will be not able to give this much leave. That's why we are already seeing the uh, less amount of women uh, in a private sector. What is best day on your job so far as a you know a mental health counselor? Uh, सबसे अच्छा दिन क्या रहा है कोई एक्सपीरियंस किसी पेशेंट के साथ यस सर देयर वाज अ वुमेन एंड सी सी केम फॉर काउंसलिंग एंड सी फर्स्ट ऑन द वेरी फर्स्ट डे सी आस्क्ड मी कि सी डोंट हैव अ टाइम एंड सी इज डेली वेज लेबरर एंड ऑल सो व्हाट आई डिड इज आई टोल्ड हिम आई टोल्ड हर सी फर्स्ट कंसल्ट अ साइकियाट्रिस्ट एंड देन देयर आफ्टर शी कैन come to me then uh, psychiatrist after medicine medicines and counseling all sessions done uh, she came to me and uh, she said ki uh, i i have to attend uh, doctors uh, periodically so uh, i went to the doctor and uh, i i requested him ki if i can go at her home and i do counseling uh, as per uh, your instructions so uh doctor allowed me and doctor used to instruct me and i used to do accordingly uh, by visiting her home uh, for uh, a few few minutes so uh, in that way uh, she uh, she gave me her blessings and uh, she is like uh, may god bless you and uh, give you everything so that was the best day and what was most threatening day on the job i would say sir it was uh, during my covid duty sir okay uh, uh i i just uh, give a drinking water to one patient and mm. after 5 minutes uh, he was dead so that was <laughs> the most threatening day sir so you you thought like next is you <laughs> ever you thought <laughs> no okay. um tell tell me how you felt during covid you know as as a nursing fraternity what was going in your mind uh were you blaming the system were you blaming the government ki kuch better karna chahiye tha sarkar ko sir uh, if i just become a nurse right now hmm. so i was definitely blaming uh, government system and government supply chain hmm. the first very reason was uh, uh, in a, in a dequet uh, human and material supply hmm. uh, we were i remember we were just two and there were 110 patients so even if we start uh, treatment early in the morning uh, we were just able to give uh, treatment to 60 around patients so morning the treatment of morning went so long that uh, some patients were not able to get treatment and uh, as we all know that uh, there was a supply chain crunch of important uh, medicines so so medicine i believe like government can take care of medicine mm -hmm. but do you think uh, government can do anything for nurses you know i don't not want to be a nurse he doesn't want to be a nurse you are a nurse and then you want to be a government uh, official now so yes. who would become a nurse we we never promote nursing as a career opportunity sir there has been a certain stigma even in, uh, it it has been uh, since past uh, since it has been in existing the career itself okay so did you face such stigma from your 
personal uh, friends and family fraternity as well um yes sir okay. i did face like uh, when i said them that i have cleared this uh, prelims and mains exam they mm. were happy and uh, uh, before that when i cleared government nursing exam they were like oh uh, nursing ma kaun jaye who goes to nursing like that but i personally thought ki it's, uh, it's my own call what to do so i have accepted it wholeheartedly and i i don't blame for anyone any system for my decision i'm happy with that sir so how do you uh, go back once suppose you become a deputy collector dysp uh, would you forget your field or do you want to contribute back something to the same fraternity i will never forget this field whatever i am right now it is due to this field even my mm. uh, exposure to civil services was through this field only sir so if uh, i get a chance to serve humanity by being a nurse while being a, a, a deputy collector i will definitely do that uh, is it like ki uh, a covid mein bura situation hua ki you decided to be, become a civil servant ke sahab log aate hain आदेश दे करके चले जाते हैं वी आर लाइक स्वेटिंग और मर तो हम लोग रहे हैं तो उससे अच्छा है कि साहब बन जाओ नो सर माय जर्नी हैज बीन स्टार्टेड सिंस 2019 ओके सो आई एम ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी एज वेल सो माय माय फ्रेंड्स आल्सो आस्क मी टू अपीयर फॉर स्टेट सिविल सर्विसेज एज वेल so it has been uh, in my mind since college days that i i want to do this uh, after seeing the opportunities and diversities of work it provides me okay do you find differences among uh, boys and girls like uh, when we talk about uh, patients mental health uh, related patients do you find any difference on the basis of gender if there is any study you would like to focus on that yes sir uh, yeah. most of the females who uh, comes for treatment uh, they mostly suffer from uh, depression hmm. and uh, if we talk about uh, male gender they mostly have uh, like uh, uh, ocd or uh, schizophrenia or hmm. suicidal tendencies hmm. apart from them apart from this we also uh, receive some patients who uh, who are uh, from poisoning or uh, say uh, who have attempted suicide रूट कॉजेस क्या है दोनों जेंडर्स के जो आइडेंटिफाई किया आपने सिम्टॉम्स किया सिचुएशन जो आपने आइडेंटिफाई रूट कॉजेस क्या है आपके हिसाब से सर देर आर वराइटीज ऑफ कॉजेज लाइक फॉर सम पेशेंट्स इट कैन बी इकोनॉमिक और फॉर सम पेशेंट्स इज लाइक ट्रीटिंग द ट्रीटमेंट दे गेट इट देर होम इज इट मोस्टली मेन और इट्स वुमेन एज वेल इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन sir it's mostly men men hmm. and about women sir uh, they face like family issues mostly due to like uh, it can be sometimes uh, domestic violence it can be uh, like not treating them uh, fairly at their home uh, and mostly they are uh, they are long term in nature or it can be like a, a post trauma stress or post trauma depression or loss of family members or like babies Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you so Doing much. Thank you so much. Your second half of interview is really good. Yeah. But your first half feels that you are very uh, kind of casual and lazy for, for the life and for the post of government which gives you a gazetted post. But still you are not that much interested or that much uh, you have zeal for uh, to have such a big and responsible uh, office uh, so uh, my advice uh, kind of not advice but uh, that you uh, need to be what what i need to more say is more focused more attentive and, uh, haan, and more communicative or aisa nahi ki bas theek hai yaar interview hai to kar lena hai aisa nahi tha sir kya kehna cha rahe hain jaise kya hota hai apne paas 10 15 minute ka waqt hota hai theek hai तो अभी क्या है मिट्टी खो देंगे फिर उसके नीचे कोयला निकलेगा फिर उसके बाद डायमंड निकलेगा थैंकफुल टू सर कि सर ने ऐसा क्वेश्चन किया कि आपका सेकंड हाफ इतना अच्छा हुआ वरना फर्स्ट हाफ वाज योर मतलब सबसे वर्स्ट था इस अब तक का ऐसा क्यों था फर्स्ट हाफ सेकंड हाफ में यू शाइन लाइक अ स्टार सो बेस्ट बनाना है अपना जो बेस्ट है वही स्टार्टिंग करना है 
सर इन द फर्स्ट हाफ जे सैकेंड सैक्शन ऑफिसर ने ए बदा रिजल्ट मैंने आए ने बे दिवस कालेज मेरी एक्जाम तो एटल बधु मैं प्रिपेर नहीं कर पोस्ट रिल ना ना सवाल नॉलेज सवाल एक्सप्रेशन वोज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट अर्लियर यू आर ठीक है जवाब आई छू तो आप जाओ एम एना जो बीजा में यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू एक्सप्रेस द थिंग विच यू नो सो देट मेक्स अ डिफरेंस तुमने कई खबर छे ने केवी ते केव छे शुरुआत में तो वेरी मतलब एवरेज काइंड ऑफ तुम्हारो परफॉर्मेंस હતો પછી સુધર્યો છે તો તમારો જે સેકન્ડ હાફ નો હતો એવો જ તમારો નેક્સ્ટ ઇન્ટરવ્યુ જે રિયલ ઇન્ટરવ્યુસ છે એ જશે તો માર્ક્સ મળશે તમે ગમે એટલા હોશિયાર હશો ગમે એટલો નોલેજ હશે પણ તમે એક્સપ્રેસ સારું નહીં કરો અથવા તો તમારી પર્સનાલિટી નહીં ખીલાય અથવા ધ વે યુ રિપ્રેઝન્ટ યોર સેલ્ફ યુ આર ગોઇંગ ટુ વે ધીસ યોર ધીસ વે ધીસ ઇઝ યોર અટાયર Uh, make sure whatever you are going to wear over there practice with that hmm. because the way you put your dupatta uh, this is the way are you going to keep it over there then keep it otherwise you won't be comfortable over there you will be like making it proper and wrapping it if you are going to wear sari jare pan mock aapo to sari ma aapo e mane tamne confidence aavse tame handle kari sakto tyar 3 4 kalak jase minimum morning ma tame peri ne gaya એના પછી 3 4 કલાક થશે સો મેક શ્યોર કે એ ગર્લ્સ માટે જ સ્પેશિયલ ઇન્સ્ટ્રક્શન છે બીકોઝ બોયઝ આર ગોઈંગ ટુ વેર ધ જે વસ્તુ અહીંયા પહેરીને આવ્યા છે જે ઇન્ટરવ્યુમાં કહી દેશે બટ ગર્લ્સમાં બીકોઝ વી હેવ ધ ઓપ્શન કે આ પહેરીએ સાડી પહેરીએ કે ડ્રેસ પહેરીએ કે વોટ એવર તો એ પહેરીને ઇન્ટરવ્યુ આપો દેટ વિલ એકચ્યુઅલી તમે બેસવાની સ્ટાઈલમાં બી કેમ કે તમે દુપટ્ટો એટલે રાખો છો તો તમે થોડાક રિલેક્સ લાગો અને રિલેક્સ થઈ બી જવાય આપણું કોઈ બી ડ્રેસિંગ છે તો ધેટ એક્ચ્યુઅલી એક્સપ્રેસિસ ને તો પહેલાં તો તમે હજુ જો એકાદ મોક આપવાના હોય કે જે બી તમે ઘરે બી જઈને જે પ્રેક્ટિસ કરવાના હોય ને એમાં તમે જે પહેરીને આવો છો જે પહેરવાના છો એની સાથે જ પ્રેક્ટિસ કરો ઇવન તમે જે બી હેર રાખવાના છો ને ધારો કે ખુલ્લા રાખવાના છો તો એ ખુલ્લા રાખીને જ પ્રેક્ટિસ કરો તમને કમ્ફર્ટેબલ લેવલ તમને ખબર પડશે ઘણી વસ્તુ એવી કે તમે ત્યાં જશો ને ત્યાં તમને અનકમ્ફર્ટેબલ ફીલ થશે ઇવન આઈ આઈ રિક્વેસ્ટ કે તમે જે ફૂટવેર બી પહેરીને જવાના હો ને એ પહેરીને પ્રેક્ટિસ કરો નહીંતર ઘણી વખત ત્યાં જઈને તમને ટપક ટપક અવાજ આવે એવું બી ના એટલે યુ શુડ બી મોર એન્ગેજિંગ યુ શુડ બી મોર અટેન્ટિવ ઓર વન શુડ હેવ અ ક્રિએ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ ઓફિસર લાઈક ક્વોલિટી તો યુ આર નો મોર અ સ્ટુડન્ટ ઓર નર્સ ઓર નો મોર અ સિટીઝન તો હોય હું આવ બટ ફિર બી એક ઓફિસર લાઈક ક્વોલિટી આપને હોની છે કે ધ વે યુ સીટ ધ વે યુ પ્રેઝન્ટ યોર સેલ્ફ ધ વે યુ પુટ યોર માર્ક actually none of the student kept the marks on the table you were the first one so એટલે કેમ કે જો એ માસ્ક લઈને આપણે જવાના છે so make sure you fold it and you keep it on your lap or something મતલબ થોડું સારું લાગશે ક્યા નામ હે આપકા સંધ્યા 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 હેરમા ઠીક હે સંધ્યા જેસે જબ હમને ગવર્નમેન્ટ એસ્ટેબ્લિશમેન્ટ પે ક્વેશ્ચન્સ કિયા ને તો આપ એવરેજ બિલો એવરેજ રહે जब हमने नर्सिंग पे फोकस किया तो आपने एक्सेल किया तो कहने का मतलब क्या है कि वो आपका कोर एरिया स्ट्रेंथ एरिया है तो पूरे पैनल को आपको नर्सिंग तक लेकर के आना है और फर्स्ट हाफ में लेके आना है ठीक है तो आपने बोल करके छोड़ दिया नर्सिंग तक लेकर के ये टॉक अबाउट योर पैशन कैसे सर्व किया गिव लिटिल स्टोरी कोविड में आपने कैसे जुझारू तरीके से लड़ करके और ये हौसला देता है आपको कि अभी क्या है कि आपने हॉस्पिटल तक जो लोग आए उनकी सेवा की अभी आप एक बार जॉब में आ जाएंगे तो आपका दायरा बढ़ जाएगा आप लोगों तक पहुंच पाएंगे सो so, इसलिए ये ट्रांजेक्शन जो आया है वो यहाँ से आया है आपको स्टोरी बिल्ड करनी पड़ेगी कि आई वॉज कन्फाइन इन टू अस्पिटल नाव मेरे लिए एक तालुका हो जाएगा एक डिपार्टमेंट हो जाएगा एक पूरा जिला हो सकता है कितने हॉस्पिटल आ जाएंगे तो सेम पैशन के साथ जो सीखा है उसको मुझे लगाना है हर जगह लगाना है हार्ड वर्क यू आर क्लियर प्रीलिमिनरी मेंस एग्जामिनेशन सो डोंट लूज दिस अमेजिंग चांस कर ही देना है ऐसा मतलब ऐसे मत रहो एकदम जाग जाओ उठो जागो नहीं वो क्या होता है मैम ड्रेसिंग है ना जैसे अगर आप मैं शॉर्ट्स पहन करके चप्पल पहनू तो मुझे लगा कि मैं बीच पे ही चलूंगा लेकिन शॉर्ट्स पे अगर मैंने लेसेस वाले शूज बांध लिए तो मतलब मेरा दिमाग हो जाएगा कि मुझे दौड़ने जाना है तो मैं सिर्फ जूते की बात कर रहा हूँ इतना कुछ बदल जाता है तो I have only one. Uh, I had this one dress only, so I have ordered a khadi suit for interview purpose. Suit hai, saari le liye. When is your interview? Uh, 
आपको पार कर देता है कि वो फिर सब लोग क्या होता है कि आपसे ऐसे क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं कि आपको सेलेक्ट करना है फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन गलत हो गया तो आपको रिजेक्ट करने के लिए क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे मैंने आपको नीचे भी देखा था सोफा को आई वाज कंफ्यूज के कैंडिडेट है कि बस ऐसे ही आया है यहां पर हमें यस बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैंने ऑब्जर्व किया मैंने लगा नहीं कि कैंडिडेट है तो ऐसा नहीं करना है आपको कि आपको पूरा तैयार होकर आना है कि कैंडिडेट ही हूं और मुझे डेप्यूटी कलेक्टर बनना ही है मैं ही डेप्यूटी कलेक्टर हूं ऐसा करते हैं ठीक है बेस्ट ऑफ लक थैंक यू थैंक यू